What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Teachers. Your boy, MP Pair Sources, coming at you. Hi, guys. So again. it's almost Boxing Day weekend, and Man City is still undefeated in league play. They comfortably sit in first place, and it seems like no team can stop them at this point. And I got to say, I got to be the first one to admit that Man City has been proving me wrong so far this season. I know at the beginning of the season, I know I said I had my doubts. I said that I didn't believe that they could win the, the Champions League. But after I've seen some of the work that Pep has done, some of the players that have stepped up in huge ways that I didn't think were going to step up this season, um, I will be the first one to admit that I was wrong. I think that, yes, they are a clear candidate to win the That's Champions League. Right. asking me before, before the season started how far I thought Man City could get in the Champions League. And I always said that Champions League is so difficult to predict because it all depends on who you have to face in each round. And so I always said that Man City was capable of going into the knockout rounds, making a little bit of noise, but I potentially I, I didn't see them winning it. You know, after a couple games so far this season, um, it's hard to really find their weakness at this point. And I think that the tactical system that Pep is using, the way that he's incorporating every player, you know, the, the way that bench players are coming up, the way that, you know, they haven't really suffered a huge injury to one of their irreplaceable players. Um, so far, what I've seen from Man City is amazing. And so far, they've been my favorite team to watch in Europe so far this season. And, you know, again, I, I take back what I said, and I think that Man City is more than capable of winning. The thing winning that sticks out to me the most about Man City is the fact that, you know, they're willing to suffocate you offensively. And by doing so, they're right there to recover the ball with high pressure. The way that they do it is, you know, their midfielders are able to push up and join on the attack. So if they play a 4-3-3, two, the two offensive-minded midfielders push up along with the three attackers to kind of make it like a five attacking to suffocate the whole middle. And, you know, you got the outside backs pinching in and going forward, and Fernandinho drops back along with the two center backs in case of any counterattack. Not only can they pin you back inside your own third, they're also more than capable of recovering the ball very, very quickly with that high pressure that they have in which, you know, five attacking players at least, seven if the outside backs are in the attack, are all applying high pressure from the start. You know, making it very difficult for teams to be able to play out of the back like that. And capable of killing you with possession, they're also capable of killing you with counterattack. And their pressure and their defense has also been amazing. Has to do with so the far. fact that you know some of the bigger teams in Europe this season haven't convinced me, especially in Champions League. I have my doubts about Barcelona. I have my doubts about Real Madrid, but uh, Bayern, Juve. I still have my doubts on all those teams. Like that, Man City's looking like they're gonna run away with the title super early. Means that come February, March. They're going to be able to rest some of their players and just focus on the Champions League the same way that Juve and Bayern have done in recent years. They're going to be able to rotate more players and their stars are going to be able to be fresh come the crucial games in the Champions League. Hi right, guys, so do you agree or disagree with me? Let me know. You can comment below. You can comment on my Instagram page, MP Pair Sources. You can follow me on Twitter, also MP Pair Sources. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you like the video. We're going to keep doing some of these videos a little bit more. We're going to test a couple things, maybe do a podcast here and there. So be on the lookout for that. And we'll see you guys next week.